retro rock plays everything. Hey there gamers, Retro Rob here, and it's time for another My Arcade Mini Arcade unboxing. Only reason I'm doing this particular one is because they were like severely on clearance for like eight bucks a piece at Target. And I want to see if maybe at like the 10 buck mark, uh, whether you guys think these are really worth it. Basically what this is, is it's got a Nintendo ROM inside it and it just plays the one game. Might make a neat stocking stuffer for Christmas or something, I guess, or like a birthday gift uh, for, for a, a distant relative. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, this is Mappy, a game about the titular mouse who is also a cop. Uh, basically breaks into a mansion to go uh, recover stolen items. Why he doesn't call for backup? Why doesn't he have a gun? Well, maybe he's a British cop and they don't... Do they carry cop? Do they, do they carry guns now in England? I don't know. Anyway, <sighs> perhaps he doesn't have a gun because he's a British mouse. I don't even know if that's true. In the United States, we think cops don't carry guns in England. Is that true? Anyway, I'm done. Done talking about that. Anyway, <laughs> he doesn't have a gun. Nonetheless, he doesn't call for backup. No, he goes about stealing all the treasures back himself. Let's start with the front of the box. Mappy, my arcade micro player, retro arcade. Hey there, Mappy. Thanks for waving. This is an officially licensed product. This is the right side of the box. First released in 1983, Mappy is the ultimate game of cat and mouse. Guide Mappy, the police mouse, through Meowkey's mansion to recover all the stolen loot while avoiding cats and using trampolines to complete your mission. With its fun characters and outlandish storyline, this arcade classic is sure to be a hit with gamers of all ages. I think that's true. It's a good game. It holds up well. The left side of the box. I have to say that they've really gone all out on the packaging for this. I think the package art really cannot be faulted. It looks good. The back of the box. Note that it does feature a removable joystick. That's useful if you're used to playing this on the NES, which is basically what this is, a NES port. Features artwork inspired by the original Mappy Arcade cabinet, perfect for any game room, office, or display case. Volume control and 3.5mm headphone jack, powered by four AA batteries or micro USB charge cable, which they don't include. The top of the box. Don't be rude. The bottom of the box. Ashen's fans will be happy to know there's one of those onions on there. Let's unbox this outside. When the heck did it start snowing out here? We're going back inside. That was a bad idea. Let's unbox it in here. <laughs> first things first, a user guide. That's a really big user guide for such a simple device. Well, it shows you the controls. Shows you how to put in batteries. In case you don't know that by now. Oh, and then it switches languages. Yeah, the next page. Oh, yep. It's in French. Next. Well. That's not too bad. Boy, there really wasn't much in the package, but that's not a bad thing necessarily. Let's take a look. This is the front of Mappy. It's got a little power button in the front right here, so you can turn it on and off. Here's the right side of the Mappy arcade machine. Uh, the art's pretty close to the original. However, if you've ever seen the original Mappy arcade machine, it is a really weird looking machine. I'll put a little, uh, put a little picture of it up here so it's it's hard to replicate the original on this but I'll give them an E for effort also note that the stickers are of decent thickness they're 
They're not super thick, but these are not cheap ones that are gonna peel off. They are actually pretty decent. In fact, I've heard of people removing them and putting them back on again when they want to change something on the inside of the machine. So I, I don't know if I'd recommend doing that, you know, myself, but you can do it apparently. And there's the left side of Mappy. Same comments still apply. Here's the back of the machine. At the top, we have volume up and volume down. Towards the bottom, we have the battery compartment. Space for four AA batteries. At the bottom, we have this micro USB port. I don't think it can be used to charge the batteries. I haven't tested that though, uh, but it can be used to power the unit. On the bottom, we have two rubber skids that hold the device pretty decently to the table. So basically, when I flip it up like this, it will stay pretty firmly on the table and not move around much. You can see it moves a little bit, but it does do a pretty good job of keeping it on the table. Looking at the top deck, we have reset, start, the door button, which opens doors, and we have the joystick slash D-pad. So I can unscrew this and use this as a D-pad. I would say it's much more comfortable not to use the D-pad. Just keep the joystick in there. Here's Mappy next to the Neo Geo Christmas Edition. Boy, this thing's gaudy. Here's Mappy dwarfing the Frogger Tiny Arcade. Here's Mappy next to the world's tiniest Frogger and the Neo Geo Mini. Largely because I'm gonna use this for the cover. Let's peel off this protector. Put the batteries in. Nice mismatch there. And power it on. Looking good. Let's start. For the record, the game does try to get you like right away. At the beginning. So it can be kind of hard just to get going. Come on. Oh, rats got me. Or mice. Or cats, really. <sighs> Guy needs to get out of there. Missing one. There we go. <sighs> Bumped me. All right, on to level two. So the controls work pretty good. The button is not bad for what it is. Which is just kind of a, you know, cheap little thing. There we go. Fun little game. I'll just finish this level up. As long as nothing goes horribly wrong. But you do not kid yourself, it could. There we go. Come on. Let's see if we can get this. Forgot about the bonus levels. I'm doing okay. It's actually a pretty decent arcade port. Oh, yeah, I gotta let myself. There we go. Got me some balloons. 
Time for the verdict. So, what's the verdict on my arcade mini arcade mappy? Well, at its original price, it was okay, but if you can catch it for like $15 or less, <laughs> it's a really pretty decent deal. I think it's attractive, it's well built, it's got decent plastics, and the stickers on the side are not cheap. They're actually decent vinyl uh, being used on these. I like the fact they went through the extra detail of making this either a joystick or a D-pad. It would have been nicer had they used the arcade ROM instead of the NES ROM. It's forgivable with some of these older games just because, you know, the games were pretty close. I mean, the NES version of Mappy is pretty close to the original Mappy, but it, it can't be that expensive to actually license Mappy, the arcade. So it would have been nicer if they did that. But all in all, it's attractive, well-built. Uh, I wish the volume control had been a, uh, you know, had been a knob instead of just an up and down thing. But all in all, I'm going to give it a mostly thumbs up. And if you can get it for really cheap, it'll go all the way up if you enjoy this kind of thing. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.